Our thoughts of you, O Lord, have been too small, too few. For seldom have we considered how specific is the exercising of your authority, extending as it does into the myriad particulars of creation. There is no quarter over which you are not king. And as creation hurdles toward its liberation and redemption, the full implications of your deep lordship are yet to be revealed in countless facets unconsidered. Christ, you are the snow king. You are the maker of all weathers. You are the king of sunlight and storms, the king of gray skies and rain. You are the rain king, the sun king, the hurricane king. You are the king of autumn and king of spring. And our thoughts of you, O Lord, have been too small, too few. The old and impotent gods our ancestors once believed in were at their best, but imperfect pictures of you, whose strength and goodness and creative majesty and wonderful mystery and love exceed those old rumors, as sunlight exceeds the tiny dimness of stars reflected in a dark and wavering pool. The fairy tales crafted by our old cultures hinted at you, though they knew it not. Yet their perfect princes and blessed inns were yearnings for all that has found fulfillment in you. You are the Lord of the harvest, the grain king, the wine king, the god of plenty, the god of hearth and home. You are the hill king, the wildflower king, king of the great bears, king of canyons. You are the monarch of meadows, the lord of the lava fields, ruler of the desert wastes, the polar king, the rainbow king, the king of the southern cross, and the king of the northern lights. You are the king of the rabbits and the lord of tall trees. You are the god of youth and the god of age. You are the acorn king, the river god, the swamp king, king of glades, king of dells, ruler of all hummingbirds. You are the horse lord, the crag king, lord of the bees, king of the walruses, commander of rhinos, lord of the lightning bugs, cave lord, mountain king, ruler of the grassy plains, god of the valleys. You are the captain of the clouds, the wolf king, the king of the cockatoos. And our thoughts of you, O Lord, have been too small, too few. For your claim over creation is vast. You are the Lord of Antarctica, the King of California, the King of the Scottish Hills, and the King of the Nile. You are the weaver of the unseen fabrics of the world. You are the Lord of the atoms, the ruler of electrons, the Lord of gravity, and the King of quarks. Your dominion enfolds the earth and rises beyond it to the furthest extremes of the stars. You are the Lord of the vast empty spaces. You are the King of the constellations the black hole king, lord of Nova's exploding, lord of speeding light, high king of galaxies, king of Orion, king of the moon. And still, even still, our thoughts of you have been too small, too few. You are the god of justice, the god of wisdom, the god of mercy, the god of redemption. You are the lord of love. All of this is true, but our thoughts of you are still too few. For our minds are too small to conceive of them all, let alone to contain them. You were before all things, you created all things, and in you all things are held together. There is no corner of creation you will fail to redeem. You are Lord of Lords and King of Kings. O oh, Jesus Christ, our King of everything.